guys, I'm Laura Vitale. Today I want to show you a fantastic easy treat, perfect for the holiday season. It's one of our favorites around here and actually I, I Instagrammed about it um, a while ago because I had made some and everybody wanted to know the recipe, which is not really a recipe, but it is my pretzel and sea salt chocolate bark. So good, three ingredients, so fantastic, perfect for an edible gift if you're looking for something last minute but that everybody will love. It's a combination of sweet and salty that we all go crazy about. This recipe is so beyond delicious, but here's what you're gonna need. You're going to need some dark or bittersweet chocolate. This is the kind of that, the melted, the melting chocolate um, because it, it sets the best. And you're also gonna need some sea salt and some mini salted pretzels. Now I have them in a little resealable bag because I'm just going to take out my daily frustration on my mini pretzels. I just wanna kind of break them up a little bit so that a little bit smaller. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my chocolate into the microwave and I'm going to melt it in 30 second intervals until it's completely smooth. And I've got my baking sheet lined with parchment paper ready to go. So I'm going to pop this in, melt it and come back here. That is perfect. It's lovely and melted. I'm going to just take about three quarters of it and place that on my baking sheet. And you want to get this as thin as possible. You don't really want it to be thick because I think what's really great about it is that the thin little layer of chocolate and then the really crunchy salty pretzel and the flakes of the salt, so, so beyond delicious. We are ridiculously obsessed. <laughs> then you take your pretzels and then I just kind of scatter them on the top. Some pieces are bigger, some are smaller. It doesn't really matter because you're gonna break this up with your hands anyway. And you can leave the sea salt out if you want to because the pretzels are already salted, but something about them, something about the salt just kind of makes the chocolate sweeter and it makes everything just kind of stand out better. So I say you add it in. And I like a good amount of pretzel because I like every single teeny tiny bite to have pretzel in it, but you can use less if you want to. And then I take the remaining, which may be unnecessary to you, but I take the remaining. Well, first of all, you take your salt and you scatter it like so. So it's kind of buried. And then you just take the remaining and I just kind of go like that. I like to cover a little bit of the pretzels. And now all you're gonna do is I'm gonna pop this into the fridge until it's completely set. It's not gonna take very long. It's probably gonna take about a half hour or so. Or you can leave it at room temperature for about an hour. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. My bark has set beautifully. I just popped it in the, in the fridge. It only takes about a half an hour, but like I said, you can leave it on the counter and it sets in like an hour or so, and it is so good. You can store it in the fridge if you want to, but really it keeps perfectly well in the kitchen in a, in a sealed container. That's where I keep it. And look at this. This is my serving. <laughs> Which one's yours? <laughs> but it's, look, so you just break it up like this. Put this in a nice little container with some fancy wax paper and you are good to go. Look at this, look how nice and thin. That's how I like it. Mmm. No, it's simple really. Ingredients, minimal. So good. So good. It makes you feel like you're eating something a lot fancier than what it really is. It's great to have to make with your kids. It's great to give away as an edible present. It's inexpensive. It's an all around awesome treat that's gonna come in handy a lot throughout this time of year. Go to lauraatinthekitchen.com. I'll just give you the written amounts of everything that I've used, but by all means, feel free to use whatever your heart desires. Hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.